5 Important Lessons People Learn Too Late in Life A woman tells her doctor, I've got a bad back. The doctor says, it's old age. The woman says, I want a second opinion. The doctor says, okay, you're ugly as well. Tommy Cooper So many young people don't know how wonderful it is to be young. Most people waste their young age only to have bunch of regrets at the age of 70. In this video, we are going to be sharing with you 5 important lessons most people learn too late in life. Lesson number 3 is the most important lesson so try and watch this video till the end. Lesson number 1. People learn too late in life Not taking risk is risky. You see, an average human being grows up to take life easy. He may want to start a business but is afraid he may lose his money. He may want to pursue his passion but is afraid. What if it doesn't work? He asks. Most people are cowards who live their lives worrying about what may happen if they fail at what they wish to do. However, in the future, we all are going to regret much of what we don't do and probably nothing of what we do that doesn't work. Mark Twain said, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than the ones you did. So, throw off the boldness, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. Now, if you are young as you watch this video, get it right into your head. Making mistakes, failing, losing some of your money because of your investment or business, all those will not matter in the future. What will matter in the future will be those things you should do but which fear keeps you from doing. Today when you see two people, one is wealthy while the other is broke, usually the reason why the rich guy becomes rich is because he dares life, takes risk and tries new things. Not taking risk is risky. Lesson number 2. Complaint solves no problem Take a moment to look around you and you're going to see virtually everybody complaining about everything. Some people believe that the reason why they are poor is because the economy is bad. Some other people believe that the reason why they are poor is because the government of their country is bad. Some other people blame their parents for their poverty. I mean, people have countless of complaints and excuses about the reason why they are who they are. However, in the nearest future, when these guys are 65 or 70, they will eventually discover that complaint and excuses solves no problem. Today you may be complaining about the economy, the government or anything else but you don't have power to change many of those things you are complaining about. Successful people concentrate their energy on what they can change, not what they don't have power over. Stop complaining and start taking actions towards your goals. Lesson number 3. The first assignment of any human being is to know why he was born. Welcome, this is the third lesson we promised will change your life. You see, many people go through life just trying to catch up with what the society influences them to do or what their parents or peers influence them to do. Many people become adults to think about the profession that can earn them more money or the profession that their parents think is the best for them. Not so many people take time to think about their strengths, potentials, capacity and passion before choosing their profession. You ever wonder, studies show that more than 80% of people in the world hate their jobs. Now you know. <laughs> Listen young people, you know you celebrate your birthday every year. But guess what? The day you were born isn't as important as the day you know the reason why you were born. Don't waste your life trying to pursue what everyone thinks is the right thing for you. Take time to understand your strength, potentials and passion. If you want us to make a video about how you can discover your passion, kindly let us know in the comments below. Lesson number 4. Being honest with yourself is very important. Now, by being honest with yourself, we mean that you have to understand what your strengths and weaknesses are. 
most people criticize themselves all their lives for not being able to do certain things like others without digging deep to know what they can do better than others only for them to be 70 and discover that they have wasted all their lives struggling to be other people. Be honest with yourself. You don't have to be good in everything. Don't try to know or to be good in everything. Know your weaknesses and embrace your strengths. Lesson number 5. Success isn't in the future and this is a big one. Almost every one of us lives in the future. When we were young, we thought we were going to be happy by the time we become adults. By the time we became adults, we thought we were going to be happy by the time we are married. By the time we are married, we believe we are going to be happy by the time we have kids. When we have kids, we discover that kids are expensive and require a lot of work to raise. But somehow, we think we are going to be happy when those kids grow up. And when those kids grow up, we think we're going to be happy if we can have enough money to send them to good college. And when we find out how to get them to college, we think we're going to be happy after all if we can become millionaires. And if some of us are able to make it to the level of becoming millionaires, we believe probably we are going to be happy if we can become the richest man in the world. And that's how we postpone our happiness till forever. <laughs> now, when we are 75, we finally discover that happiness isn't in the future. We discover that nothing in life makes us happy tomorrow. So, what is the lesson here? Be happy right now. No matter what you have or lack today, you can find a way to be grateful and rejoice. Even while pursuing your goals to be rich, healthy or anything else, make sure you take the time out to smile and be happy. Nothing in the future will make you happy. Trust us. Nothing. Nothing. Be happy now.